that this coin is made out of copper. I wonder if copper is magnetic. No, it's not. How very strange. Let me tell something else. and rubber. Let's see if it's magnetic. Nope. Hmm. This was a fabulous investigation. Hmm. Looking at the results of our investigation, I could see that no material that we tested was magnetic unless it was metal. So it looks like only metals are magnetic. But not all metals. Only some metals are magnetic. Uh, so iron was magnetic and steel was magnetic. Are there any other magnetic metals? Oh, the magnetic metals are iron, steel, nickel, and cobalt. Hmm. I wonder what non-magnetic metals there are. Oh, there's lots of non-magnetic metals. Gold, silver, copper, and aluminum. And that other one. Wow. Let's do an investigation with more magnets. Ooh, look what I found. I found two more magnets. What? Oh. These are called bar magnets. They're two different colors. Oh, the different ends of a bar magnet have different names. So, this end is called the North Seeking Pole. <laughs> the North Pole, like at Christmas. The North Seeking Pole and what's the other end called? Oh, it's called the South Seeking Pole. Oh, how good! So, let's see what happens if we try and put two ends of a magnet together. Okay, I'm going to take the North Seeking Pole of this magnet and the South Seeking Pole of this magnet and put them together to see what happens. Wow, they attracted. They pulled together. All right, how about if I try taking the north seeking pole of this magnet and the north seeking pole of this magnet and put them together? They don't want to go together. They're, they're pushing against each other. What's that, computer? They are repelling each other. So if I try and put the north seeking pole and the north seeking pole together, they will repel? Is the same true for the other end? Well, let me try it. So I have the south seeking pole and the south seeking pole. Let me try and put them together. to repel as well. Oh my goodness. How interesting. Well, those investigations sure have been fun, but I'm kind of tired now. Can we go back to the spaceship please?
spaceship. Oh, we learned so many cool things about magnets and magnetic materials. What's that, computer? We've discovered a scientific law. Wow! What's it called? The law of magnetism. Wow! And what is the law of magnetism? Oh! When we're talking about the poles of magnets, we say that opposite poles attract and like poles repel. So north and south poles attract, but two poles that are the same, like north and north, or south and south, repel. <gasps> wow! That is so cool! It sure has been fun learning about magnets. I wonder what people on this planet use them for. Wow! They use them for lots of different things. There's, there's a thing called a, a compass that has a magnet in it. Wow! So, the point on the compass always points to the north because of magnetism. Wow! And, oh goodness, they use really big magnets to lift up really heavy metal things like cars. Wow! And they use super big magnets to move trains. Oh, that is so cool! Oh, I'm really tired today, computer. I love this planet, but can we go home now? If, if, if you promise that we can come back again really soon. Good. I'm excited. Can't wait to come back again. Bye, Panic.